Hi, uh, Irex? Irex? I'm so tired, I can't believe I'm doing this. But when your videos came to my attention, I thought I'd have a look and just see how bad the situation was. And there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that you're a recent convert to Islam. You're very young, your mind still has some flexibility, and you're obviously interested and get quite excited by the wonders of nature. That's the good news. The bad news is that I'm just a little itty bit on a screen and I can only be in your life for about 10 minutes maximum. And that's not time enough to talk someone out of using one of the most addictive and strongest drugs known to man. It's simply not time. I'm almost certain to fail and to be wasting 10 minutes of your life and a little bit more of mine. Before I even thought about doing this video reply, it actually occurred to me that there was a danger when talking to you that I've not encountered before. The danger that I might cry. It's tragic. It's... it's... Muslims are telling you that you've made an excellent video and that you've made a great video. Two comments attached to this video that I'm replying to refer to what you said as excellent and great. You yourself tell people to do research and you haven't done any yourself. Oh, I know you've looked at websites, I know you've looked at uh, Quranic interpretations, possibly even a few creationist sites, and you think that's doing research. They'll quote a few names of real people, you'll check out the names, you'll find they exist, you'll find that they're Nobel Prize winners, and they may have even have referred to a higher being but they weren't referring to a man in the desert riding on a horse up to meet God that I can virtually guarantee so I've only got a few minutes and I've got to keep the points it's 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 agony knowing that I'm gonna be one of the few last chances you get however hard it is for you to turn around tonight it will be harder tomorrow and harder the night afterwards. So let's just look at what you said. Why would something, to quote you, why would something so complex as the eye just happen by coincidence? It wouldn't. It didn't. It started off as a thin layer of photosensitive cells on some prehistoric creature long before the dinosaurs and the mere fact that it could tell light from darkness gave it a tremendous evolutionary advantage the eye has evolved a number of separate times there are a number of different designs I believe lobsters have a very different design flies have a very different design and of course the the human lensed eye uh, and all the creatures which use a similar design they're all separate they've all got separate origins Now the cow. This is perhaps the most ignorant thing I've ever heard. And I have heard some ignorant things. You are ignorant. I don't know about your intelligence. But scientifically you're just about as ignorant as a child. To someone of my age you are a child. Nature did not make the cow white with black spots. For a start it isn't white with black spots it's black with white spots which halves the difficulty that you perceived in trying to understand its its beginnings. It is not a natural creature it came from something similar to um, an oxen which was used to plough fields. It was a wild creature initially man found that they could get it to do works by ploughing the fields 
And probably around about that time they realised that the females gave milk which gave them food and kept them alive. So the animal became domesticated and it was selectively bred not by nature but by mankind purely for its ability to produce milk. Now, you say it wouldn't be susceptible to predators. Well, have you ever seen a male cow? It's called a bull. And if you want to try and uh, predate on a bull, you'll find out just how susceptible it is to predators. But the main thing, the thing that I can say to you which is undeniable, the thing that will prove that you are totally, utterly wrong about the cow, is that if mankind disappeared tomorrow, the cows would all die because there'd be nobody to milk them. Nature did not produce the cow. Mankind selectively bred oxen purely for their ability to produce the most milk and we now have a creature which is utterly dependent upon mankind. If you think that Allah carried out some miracle around about 10 to 12,000 years ago which is when we started domesticating these animals if you think that that was how it began. It's You talk about doing research. How can you have missed this if you claim to have done research? How could you possibly have missed this? The bias is not ours, as in atheists. The bias is yours, and I've got moisture in my eye now. Thanks, dude. Bioluminescence in deep sea creatures quote unquote there's no reason for them to be seen no reason let's check the time three minutes not much time to save somebody's sanity no reason you've thought about this and you've used your brain and you've come up with no reason why deep sea creatures would need to be seen <coughs> okay what about to find a mate useful huh what about to ward off another from their hunting territory? Kind of useful again. Uh, I also believe that some of these creatures use a lure which imitates a small, a very small bioluminescent fish. Other fish see this from a distance and come running thinking they've got an easy meal only to swim straight into the jagged teeth of a far larger fish. I've just given you three reasons off the top of my head which I know are factually accurate. I didn't even have to try. I'm begging you. I mean, I'm literally begging you. Think. Think. Get other books. Get different books. Don't go anywhere near anything you have read, ever read before. Find different books. And why didn't they come out of the water? One and a half minutes. I can do it far quicker than that. They don't come up because by the time... Well, let, let's say they spent so long down there under those vast pressures specialising in that environment that even if the idea occurred to them and it does occasionally happen that one of those deep sea fish either gets confused and comes up or more likely gets caught in a deep sea trawling net. And when those fish come up they die. The, the pressure that they are designed for the pressure down there. If they come up, they die because they don't have the pressure. In the same way that you, if exposed to the vacuum of space, would bleed from every pore in your body, simply the difference in pressure, that's what would kill those fish. That's why don't, they don't come up. I can't save you in 40 seconds. Only you can do it. You have got heroin in your veins. You wake up with heroin in your veins. There's only one way to get it out. If you want a list of books of me, I will happily supply it. Happily. But it's no good. I mean, I, I, I wonder if you've actually heard a word I've said. Or if, like most people, you're... You're just looking for error. Three seconds. Good luck. 